one is a kalpana here in this video we are going to solve this differential equation so let's get started problem solve dy by dx plus ax plus hy plus g by hx plus by plus f equals to 0 solution given differential equation dy by dx plus ax plus hy plus g by hx plus by plus f equals to 0. Right. Consider as equation 1. Again you can rewrite it as hx plus by plus f into dy plus ax plus hy plus g into dx equals to 0. Right. Again, you can write it as ax plus hy plus g into dx plus hx plus by plus f into dy equals to 0. Okay. Which is all m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form which is all m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form where m equals to By comparing these two, we will get m equals to ax plus hy plus g and n equals to hx plus by plus f, right? If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So, firstly, we will find partial derivative of m with respect to y. Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to dou by dou y of ax plus hy plus g. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x, a, h and g are treated as constants. Okay, is equals to dou by dou y of first term plus dou by dou y of second term plus dou by dou y of third term. Your a, x, h, g are constants, right? So, partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 plus. So, you can write this as constant into partial derivative of y. Plus, partial derivative of constant with respect to y, 0. This equals to h into partial derivative of y. With respect to y is 1 equals to h, right? Now, we can find partial derivative of n with respect to x. This equals to dou by dou x of hx plus by plus f. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so here h, b, y and f are treated as constants. So, this equals to partial derivative of hx that is the first term with respect to x plus partial derivative of second term with respect to x plus partial derivative of third term with 
with respect to x. Okay. Here h, b, y and f are constants, right? Is equals to constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x plus partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 plus partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0. Is equals to h into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 equals to h. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to h. Also, we have h equals to do n by do x. That is partial derivative of n with respect to x. Right. So, from this we can say that partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Since partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, from this we can say that the given differential equation, that is equation 1, is an exact equation. Okay, fine. Now we can find the general solution to the given exact differential equation. We know that the general solution of exact equation of an exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant. Okay. So, consider the first integral, integral over x, m into dx. Here, we will be integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant. So, this equals to integral of, we have m equals to ax plus hy plus g. ax plus hy plus g. Here, y is treated as constant, right? h, a, g are also constants. So, this equals to integral ax dx plus integral hy dx plus integral g dx. So, let's write the constants outside the integral is equals to a, h, y, g are constants, right? Is equals to constant in the integral x dx plus h, y into integral dx plus g integral dx is equals to a into integral x dx is x squared by 2 plus hy into integral dx is x plus g into integral dx is x. So therefore integral over x m into dx is equals to a x squared by 2 plus h x y plus g x or x g. Okay. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. We are having n equals to hx plus by plus f. The terms of n which are free from x are by and f. 
this term contains x, so we will not consider it. The question, integral of terms of n free from x are by plus f into dy. Equals to integral by dy plus integral f dy. Again, write the constants outside the integral. Here b and f are constants, right? Integral f dy. Okay? Here y is also a constant. Sorry. f is a constant, not y. Constant into integral y dy plus f into integral dy is equal to b into integral y dy is y square by 2 plus f into integral dy is y. So this equals to b y square by 2 plus f y. Okay. Now, coming to the general solution of 1. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral ax squared by 2 plus hxy plus gx plus result obtained from the second integral plus by squared by 2 plus fy equals to constant. Then we have a x square by two plus h x y plus g x plus b y square by two plus f y equals to c right? We can take LCM. This two, the numerator will get a x square plus two h x y plus two g x plus by square plus 2fy equals to c. Then, ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy equals to c. Two into C, two C, right? Then AX square plus two HXY plus BY square plus two GX plus two FY minus two C equals to zero. Since C being constant, we can write two C as C. Then We'll get a x square plus two h x y plus b y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c equals to zero, which represents a family of conics. So this is the required general solution. Fine. 
So we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.